Okay, let's take a look at how to use the for statement to enumerate tables. We talked about this earlier and we'll take a look at some examples here. And I just want to remind everybody that if you use this add code button down here, of course, you can add all these uh, things that we're looking at to your project. So you can add a for statement, for example, or a for loop with a step just by clicking on it here and it'll get added to your code editor. We're typing in everything uh, uh, longhand here because that way we can sort of examine it and see what's going on. All right, here's the syntax for the uh, enumerating a table with a for loop. We've got uh, for index comma value in table name do and then it's got some code here operate on index and value. All right, now let's take a look at this and we'll clarify this. It's a lot simpler than it looks. Uh, let's create a table first. We'll say my table equals and actually we'll just go ahead and insert our values right now. We'll say apple orange and banana. Okay, now let's go ahead and set this up to enumerate this table. So we'll say for index. Now we have to create a name for that index. Now in this particular case that's going to be a number. So let's go ahead and say uh, for item and then we will name this next particular thing here which is going to refer to the value fruit in table and the table is of course called my table do and then we're going to put some code in here so let's take a look here we've got my table contains these fruits and we've assigned them uh, to the index and the name item and fruit so let's go ahead and use that and we'll say dialog message and then for a title let's go ahead and say item number. I'm going to use the concatenation operator to attach that item variable to that and then we'll put a comma in and for the body of our dialog message we'll go ahead and say is and then we'll concatenate on that fruit value. Okay, so that's our script. It's going to actually go ahead and enumerate that table. Let's go ahead and run that and see how it works. says item number one is apple, item number two is orange, item number three is banana. So let's go back and review what we did here. We set up a for loop to enumerate this table that we've created. It's a fictitious table called my table and it contained a few different values. Apple, comma, orange, comma, banana. So we've got three items in there and we could have put in as many items as we want. Actually let's go ahead and add a couple. We'll say lime, kiwi, grapefruit and maybe one more. How about uh, we'll put in here mango. Alright, so it just goes to show that the for loop is going to enumerate this table no matter how many items we have in there and that's what's so convenient about it. We don't have to know how many items are in that table in order to go ahead and enumerate it. So we've got still the same setup. For item comma fruit in my table do the following. Now again not to be uh, confusing here, this is the index, which is going to be the number of the item in the table. So for example, apple is item number one, orange is number two, banana is number three, lime is number four, and so forth. Those are their indexes. And we just assigned that to a variable named item by typing in the word item here. We created that. All right, now the next thing here that where it says fruit, that's going to be uh, pertaining to the value. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our script actually so that it's a little more descriptive. We'll say for index comma value in my table do and then we're actually going to change that in here. So we'll say index and value instead of item and fruit. All right, now you can see that what we've done here inside the dialog message action is we've just done a simple concatenation of those variable values onto a string. So it's nothing fancy. But the main, uh, the meat and potatoes of the operation here is this for loop where it's actually automatically enumerating this table. And that's uh, the great thing about using for to enumerate tables. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build this and run it. Okay, there we go. We got white. Item one is apple. Item two is orange. 
item 3 is banana, item 4 is lime, item 5 is kiwi, and so forth, all the way through our entire table. Now, of course, this can be adapted to be a lot more advanced or specific, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to using four to enumerate tables. I wanted to keep it simple so that you can set this up, try it for yourself, and just uh, break in there. Uh, obviously, there's no sense in jumping into any of this stuff on a really advanced level. The best thing to do is start with these simple examples and just work your way up. It only takes five, ten minutes to sit down and work through a couple of these examples, so it's really worthwhile. At any rate, that's using a for statement to enumerate tables.